If you have normal erections, you can relax because chances are high that you are in good general health. In this video, I am going to explain to you why erectile dysfunction is a warning sign way beyond an impaired sexual performance and why even young men should take action if this happens to them regularly. My name is Stefan Buntrock. I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. Just think about it. Sex is easy only when there are no functional problems. As soon as difficulties set in, you begin to realize the complex nature of something you have taken for granted all of your life. For erections, you need it all. The anatomy, nerves, blood vessels, hormones and psychology. Erections are dependent on delicate arteries which belong to the smallest in diameter of the whole body. So any disruption of any kind and this system is not working anymore. Large amounts of blood have to be brought into the cavernous bodies of the penis within seconds. Clogged arteries wouldn't be capable of doing that. Erectile dysfunction is the red light that starts to blink very early if there is something wrong. Sometimes even years before major events. If your erections are good, you are probably doing a lot of things right already as the big destroyers are hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, the metabolic syndrome, depression and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Smoking on top of that is the icing on the cake so to speak. This path will reliably lead to erectile dysfunction for most men sooner or later. In this video my primary focus will be on vascular function as an integral part of erectile ability. Arteries are more than just tubes where there is blood inside. They are organs on their own with muscles and metabolic properties able to react to what's going on elsewhere in the body. Nitric oxide is released from the inner layers of the arteries and the surrounding tissue. Nitric oxide is a gas and the key to erections. Without nitric oxide, there will be no erections. Additionally, arteries bring blood into the cavernous bodies of the penis for erections. Problem is, their diameter is just a millimeter. Atherosclerotic changes, which commonly accumulate with age, threaten the free passage of blood. Hence, it is not surprising that erectile dysfunction is often associated with advanced age. But this also means that erectile function is closely related to cardiovascular function. Anything that's good for the heart is also good for the penis. Now, here's some surprising news. It is less commonly known that there is a substantial number of young men, that is men under 40, who suffer from erectile dysfunction. In recent years, research has shown that we in the medical community should exercise caution when immediately classifying them as psychogenic. Because for a substantial number of young men, erectile dysfunction is indeed a first warning sign of major comorbidity. It may come as a surprise for you that even in men below 40, cardiovascular problems may be the cause of their erectile dysfunction. According to the literature, Vasculogenic ED ranges from 32 to 72% in that age group. The hazard ratio for a subsequent cardiovascular event increases the younger the patient is at the first presentation of ED. In the age group below 40 years, the risk is sevenfold increased as compared with the general main population. However, this might occur years before any actual events allowing time to make the necessary changes to lower that risk. Besides cardiovascular problems, ED may be the presenting sign of diabetes, but also other systemic conditions as hepatitis, gastrointestinal diseases, hyperlipidemia and chronic pulmonary disease. General inflammation of the body is a key concept worth mentioning here. Systemic diseases as the metabolic syndrome, Respiratory disorders and even diet put the body into an inflammatory state. So does age and the natural aging process. As we age, inflammation increases naturally. Inflammation compromises vascular function 
And by now you know that vascular function is essential for erections. So if you suffer from erectile dysfunction, don't just buy Viagra. Consult your doctor for proper assessment. This also applies to men in younger age groups. However, most young men still would be candidates for psychogenic erectile dysfunction. How do you counteract all of this? Fight inflammation, that's key. If you want to know how to do that, here's a playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.